Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. As many as 38 persons succumbed to COVID-19 on Wednesday. With this, the cumulative death toll in the district has reached to 2,510. On the other hand, as many as 1,352 persons have gone home after recovery and obtaining permission from medical authorities. With this, the total number of recovered patients in the district is now 62,467, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district is now at 80.07%. The total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 78,012 with 982 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the deaths, medical officials revealed that of the total casualties, 440 and 1,825 victims are from rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while as many as 245 persons are from outside Nagpur district. To contain the further spread of coronavirus in the city, NMC has decided to go for aggressive testing. Taking a big step, the civic body has introduced 12 mobile testing labs for facilitating tests at a citizen's doorstep. About a dozen buses were drafted from city bus fleet and converted into mobile testing labs with little improvisation of seating arrangements. On Wednesday, the facility was dedicated to public. Mayor Sandeep Joshi and Municipal Commissioner Radha Krishnan B. flagged of the van. One for each of the 10 zones of NMC at central office. NMC is the first civic body in Maharashtra to introduce such a large number of mobile labs. The timing of starting mobile testing facility assumed significant as it's part of the administration's effort to increase testing and to increase availability of oxygenated bed and other medical facilities as the COVID-19 has its peak. BJP activists celebrated the verdict of CBI Special Court acquitting 32 accused in a Babri demolition case on Wednesday. BJP workers gathered at various places in the city and post crackers and distributed sweets to celebrate the court's verdict. They gathered at Prashkar Chow, where Girish West, MLC, joined them. BJP worker post crackers celebrated and distributed sweets. Shivrai Kulkarni, Kishore Palandurkar, Subodhacharya, and others were present during celebration at Prakash Chow. MLC West welcomed the verdict of the CBI Special Court in Lucknow, acquitting all the 30 key to accused, including senior BJP leader L. K. Arwani, Dr. Murli Manohar Joshi, Uma Bharti, Vinay Katiyar, Ashok Singhal, Balasaheb Thakre, etc. West termed the verdict as victory of truth and said that he had full confidence in the judiciary of the country. Pravin Tatke, ML and BGP city president stated in a press release that truth had won. Despite the rising corona positive cases and casualties, the frontline COVID warriors of the NMC are working day in and day out to protect the citizens from COVID-19. They are relentlessly and selflessly rendering their services since the last six months. Prolonged services in these difficult conditions is taking a heavy toll on their body and mind. So, through initiative of NMC Commissioner Radhakrishnan B and Gurgaon based ESI Clinics Shipra Dawar, a counseling service will be made available for frontline NMC COVID warriors from today onwards. About 500 doctors, paramedics, staff, nurses, laboratory assistants, workers, and 6,500 sweepers will benefit under this initiative. Psychologists of ESI Clinic will resolve mental and other personal issues of the NMC employees through video conferencing. Counseling service for the NMC employees will be available in English, Hindi and Marathi language and shall be available 24 into 7. Motor vehicle rules, Ujwala scheme, health insurance credit and debit card rules are changing from today. So we are acquainting viewers regarding changes going to be implemented from today such as no physical verification of documents like driving license and RC. Mobile phone only for route navigation. LPG connection will not be free under the Mark Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana. The process of getting a gas connection for free has ended on 30th September. 5% tax will be levied on foreign phone transfer. Sweet seller will need to display based before debt. New health insurance rule to be implemented. Buying television sets can be more expensive now. The Reserve Bank of India has issued a new guideline to secure debit and credit cards. FSSI bans blending of mustard oil with any other cooking oil. New tax collected at source of Jai. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself.